I'm back again with another review for a retro style puzzle platformer, this time Mechabolt. But should you bolt right over to the store and pick this one up, or is picking up Mechabolt a mega mistake? Mechabolt is a retro style puzzle platformer where you're taking the role of a technician in a theme park where robots have run amok. Your goal on every level is to get to the battery, and these batteries are able to put the robots back into order. The theme park is broken up into four areas with 24 levels in each, and they're pretty short levels, just a bit of puzzle solving and a few dodges of some enemies and you'll be able to get to the battery and move on to the next stage. The big gimmick of the game is the Mecha Bolt, the gun that you're carrying that allows you to fire out at the various robots and affect them in different ways. Whether it's certain gun turret type robots, you can change the direction they're firing, some of which you'll need to do in order to destroy platforms and the like, so that you'll be able to actually continue on in levels. Other ones you'll be able to hit and fire out giant harpoons that will be able to turn into platforms, and other times you're hitting the robots to stop them in their place, to use them as a spring, a platform, or just to get them out of your way so that you're able to get by without accidentally getting hit. The game unfortunately though isn't very long, even with the amount of levels in it, anyone who's pretty competent in retro style platformers will probably breeze through this one in about an hour and a half to two hours at most. The good thing is though that the game consistently throws you new ideas, new traps, new robots and the like to at least keep things fresh. Sadly, it doesn't really do anything groundbreaking, and the platforming is okay. The main character controls a bit heavy, so jumping around isn't the game's strong suit. It's much more about using those robots to your advantage to get through the levels. And while I like the variety of things they were throwing at me, the game could have used a bit more, whether it be boss-like encounters or more intense creative puzzle solving with the robots, especially in later levels. Presentation-wise, the sprite work is okay, nothing really too amazing stood out, and the music was kind of bland for a retro-style game like this. From the technical side of things though, I'm happy to report there was no crashing or other major glitching. Mechabolt is available on the PlayStation 4 for $4.99, it does feature a very easy Platinum. The game is also available on the Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation Vita, and PC. Overall, Mechabolt is another decent retro-style puzzle platformer. It doesn't really do a whole lot to shake the genre up by any means, it doesn't really stand out in the graphics or music department, but the gameplay is perfectly fine and fun if you're a fan of this genre and it won't end up hurting your wallet. It's just really hard to recommend this one as something you need to go out and buy right now. As everything stands though, I'm going to be giving Mechabolt on the PlayStation 4 a 6 out of 10. That's going to wrap up this review though. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoy.